Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Aspen tutorial video. And today I'm gonna talk about something that are very simple but important. And it is about model palette as well as flow sheet uh, tab or window in your Aspen Plus and what to do when these two things are missing. Um, to those who are who have a lot of experience running uh, the software, this probably is not really a big deal because we know how to get it back. But to those who just began exploring this software and you know when they accidentally click close on these two uh two features, you know they tend to freak out because they don't know how to get it back. But don't worry, in this uh, video, I'm gonna show you a simple way to. Uh, to retrieve or to get these two uh, features or these two uh, function back in your interface if you accidentally click close. Um, so yeah, let's begin. As you can see here, this is my Aspen Plus software and I am right now in the simulation environment. This is just an example of a flow sheet that I took from Aspen Plus uh, example in C directory. So you can just get it uh, I just just go to your C file and then fi find Aspen Tech file uh, and then just retrieve whatever example that you want. But in this case, I choose uh, this uh, C two splitter in plan data uh, plan data uh, folder in Aspen Plus example uh, example example problem. Uh, anyway, so as you can see here, this is my flow sheet. You know, flow sheet is just a it's just a, a window that allows you to in, to create your your you know your process flow diagram, kind of. Um, this are my flow sheet, and as you can see here, uh, in Aspen Plus, this uh these are you can consider this as a tab like your Google Chrome, which you can close, or 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 you can create another one. Say for example, I click, I double click this, it will create another one, and this. A uh, window that are open is uh, is uh, the, the the window for the column because I click the window for the column and as I said these are same as uh, your Google Chrome tab uh, Google Chrome uh, tab where you can just simply close it right but what uh, but let's say for example you accidentally close this guy right so I'm now. Now my flow sheet is gone. So how am I supposed to do this? So how can I get it back? So it's quite simple actually. Uh, no need to freak out. Just go to your home tab. Uh, no, just go to your menu ribbon. Uh, the simplest way is to just click this, this icon. Uh, at the very, at the top left of your window, just click this. It will return back. That's the first way. Uh, let's say this option is not available. Uh, let's say, for example, I close. What you can do is go to this uh, menu ribbon. Just go all the way to your right uh, in this view tab. Just click. And then you have a flow sheet here. You click uh, flow sheet and it will be shown back. And then you can just uh, simply resume uh, whatever work that you have done. That's the first. That's the first one. The second one is your model palette. Model palette is just a just a, a list of uh, different component or different block to that are that can be used to construct your uh, process flow diagram. And then, and then the same thing. Let's say for example, you accidentally close it. So, and then you decided to add a heater. So how can I add heater? Because I don't have the model palette available at my bottom of the window. So again, the same thing. Just go to your just go to your menu ribbon, just go all the way to the right, click view, and then click modern palette. And, and that's it. So just go to view, uh, click model palette. If model palette is missing, or just click a uh, flow sheet if flow sheet uh, is missing. Alternatively, you can also click this small icon if you can see them, uh, if they are available on your uh on the on, on your window but usually they are located at the top uh top left of your window these are called like a quick access ribbon something like that i don't i, I don't i don't remember but if you see this symbol uh this is a symbol that allows you to you know to 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 show uh to to return back to your flow sheet or to view the flow sheet and another thing that i want to show to you is how to add or remove this stream flag. These are called stream flag, by the way. And what is stream flag anyway? Stream flag is basically a symbol 
or flag or ribbons that are placed at the stream of your at a stream of your PFD process flow diagram to indicate a condition of your stream. Uh, for example, it can be mass flow rate, it can be temperature, pressure, and so on. Um, uh, let's look at this uh, example on your left. Uh, this is a part of your of the process flow diagram. I don't know what 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 is this process, but as you can see here, they contain a stream flag, and this is the legend, uh, basically to describe what is what does the flag really represent. For example, they use a circle to represent pressure, diamond to represent temperature, stream number, uh, uh, represented by a square shapes. Now. Uh, when it comes to the construction of PFD, there are no universally accepted standard uh, of, of you know, how to represent flag. So that's why you can have a different shape of flag. But uh, for example, on your right here, these are one example of how you can represent your screen flag and what is the symbol that can be used. Uh, uh, in Aspen Plus, uh, you know, they have a different way of representing stream flag where they stack the flag uh, under one, uh, under one, uh, under, on, on one line. And in this case, they represent two conditions having a, a, a separately. So again, it's really up to, uh, up to the designer or PFD designer on how to, how to create this uh this stream flag or or they uh, or, uh, uh, alternatively then they don't really have to put the stream flag uh you can just simply put them as part of the uh uh stream mass balance it's also acceptable but uh why do they why some people decide to put the stream flag as part of their pfd is because it allows you know someone who uh, maybe a process engineer to get to to know the value right away as they see the uh, process flow diagram that's one uh, that's one uh, one way for uh, one one of the benefits i guess uh, to put them um, to put them in the uh, process flow diagram but uh, well down i guess the disadvantage of this thing is sometimes it can make your uh, process flow diagram a bit cluttered. And an alternative to that is you can just simply put them as part of your mass balance table that, uh, that can be put in a separate or, or the next document or they can be put at the bottom of your uh, process flow diagram within the same, uh, I'll say, title block or your, your, drawing, uh, your drawing, uh, drawing layout, if you will. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to add or remove uh, uh, this stream flag in Aspen Plus. Okay, to add or remove this uh, stream flag um, is quite simple. But but before that, uh, as I said, uh, Aspen represents their stream flag by stacking those those you know condition. Uh, under one flag, if you will, but they still represent them uh, with different symbols. Uh, I don't know what is this, but we have to check the description of it. Uh, usually, usually, they will show the uh, what is called the legend, which is here. Okay, here is the is it circle? I, I don't know what this, this is called ellipse, I guess. Okay, represented uh, represent temperature. This symbol represent pressure. This symbol represent mass flow rate. But in the example that I show you in the slide, they 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 are represented. Uh, this symbol represent different different condition. And as I said, as I said, uh, there are no universally accepted standard. But as long as you provide you know a legend for people to refer to, it should be fine. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to add or remove this. And again, the reason why uh, people, some people want to have this thing in the flow sheet is because it allows them to see without going to the stream uh, stream summary results. So this it, it allows them to just simply see the value as they see the flow sheet. So to add or remove this is quite simple. Just go to, um, just go to your flow sheet first, and then you have this modify tab. So click this modify tab. And then here you can just, let's say you, you if you want to remove all, just uncheck this 
can this uh, this uh, list uh, or, or checklist if you will and if you want to add them let's say for example i want to add pressure so click this it will be shown and then temperature it will be shown next and then it will be stack and then let's say i choose vapor fraction and then it will be stacked below here uh, maybe they have a certain sequence aspen have a certain sequence on how they do this on how they want to arrange but that's pretty much how you want to add a uh, stream flag in aspen plus so to summarize uh just click this or unclick or uncheck this option if you want to add or remove your screen flag and then if your flow sheet is missing either click this guy in your menu uh, quick access menu or just go to your view tab and then click flow sheet and then the same thing for your model palette if this guy are missing just go to your view tab and then just click model palette Okay, that will be all for me. I hope you like the videos and I will see you guys again in the next video. All right, bye-bye. Uh,